Hello. Today I'm going to show you a cool bundle or add-on or plug-in to the application TextMate that will help you with managing your bundles. If you don't know what bundles are or what TextMate is, if you're watching this on YouTube or looking at this, my blog, go ahead and look in the past or the future, um, depending on when you're viewing this, to look for more of my TextMate tutorials. So basically bundles are like I said like plugins to the application which expands the application you can find plugins or bundles throughout the internet in all types of places uh, the one thing that I was starting to find was there were a lot of plugins I was missing and just I couldn't find them so I actually found this very cool plugin uh, it's basically called Git Bundle, and what and it ba uh, basically helps you manage this and makes your tasks a little bit easier. So what we're going to do is come in the command line. Now uh, you can pull this via the Subversion repository. So you have to make sure that you have SVN installed on your Mac or Subversion uh, installed on your Mac, and just go ahead and I'll paste that URL into the notes. So it'll go and grab that, and you would double click it. Now, I already have it installed, so I don't need to do that again. So now you come in and text me, and I always like to, if it's uh, TextMate was open when you installed it, I always like to go to Bundle Editor, Reload Bundles. So we're going to come in here to Bundles. We're going to go to Get Bundles, and Get Bundles. It's going to bring up this nice little window interface here. And you can see we have four buttons here. We have an all button, third party, review, and official. The official are basically officially from TextMate or the creators of TextMate. Review is basically beta. Uh, would be my, basically would be my guess. It's under review. Third party are third-party uh, creations as yourselves are in here. So what you can do here is I'll sort the status tab here, or column, and you'll notice these OKs. Now you're either going to see OK, you're going to see nothing, which means it's not even installed, or you're going to see something that gives a number and then days. That basically tells you that there is a newer version of that plugin, which you can then double-click it and it will get you the update. And installing something or another plugin is easy as just double clicking it. Now you might have noticed um, this. Well, actually, I'll get back to that. So you bring this. As you can see, it uh, it brings you up some options. If I come here, you can see Android. If you were building an Android app, you could build it. You could build the Android app, build build and install, or you can even start an emulator. So you can see this plugin comes in with that, which is very nice. So, uh, which now it, it basically comes up here with the OK. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to click on Delete, which will delete it. But as I was getting at, the source here you'll see GitHub. GitHub, or basically, you would need to have Git install, G-I-T. So you would need to do a search and find the Git installer for command line uh, tools for the Mac to use Git. Uh, if not, you'll double click and it won't install or you might get errors uh, and it won't work. So if that is the case, then that's that. So that's basically going to wrap up this short tutorial on this Git Bundles Manager, which has saved me lifetimes of time searching for cool plugins. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, Please subscribe or bookmark my uh, blog. Thank you.